All right, everybody, welcome to the Gaming Corner. My name is Matt, and today we're going to talk about the three games from Respawn Retro Gaming in Fond du Lac. Now, two of the games were ones that Tony was holding for me, and one of them he gave me to try out. So, the two games that he was holding for me are both on the Sega Genesis. One of the games I don't think I need to talk too much about, unless you've been living under a rock for years. Um, anybody with retro channels talks about this game quite a bit. And it would be Streets of Rage 2. Now, this is cartridge only. And I wanted this one for a reason, because I already own Streets of Rage 2. I own the one that says not for resale on it. So I wanted this one to see what happened if I popped into my Mega Drive. I wanted to see if it would turn into um, Bare Knuckle 2, which it does not. It does, it just says region locked still. So that was one bad part. But Streets of Rage 2, I'm going to give this one over to my son. And he'll have at least this game also now. Now, as you can see, I didn't show any gameplay footage from it. I don't really know if there's a point to that one because, like I said, unless you're living underneath a rock, um, and if you watch any retro channels, you already know about Streets of Rage 2. You know it has excellent music. It's a great beat-em-up. There's really not much more to say about it. Now, this next game will have some gameplay footage. And this one, I originally was going to buy the cart only, and when I was there, I noticed he had one in the box. So we just swapped it out for the one in the box, and I took the box one instead, and it is... Combat cars. Combat cars? Yeah. Combat cars. Now, you will see a little bit of gameplay footage right now while I talk about a little bit. This game is a lot of fun. It reminds me a lot of the Micro Machines and that. And because you get the top-down view, the cars are really good. You get some bullets, stuff like that. Just a blast to play. Now, I am playing it on my TV behind me, so that's why it looks a little awkward on here. But just a lot of fun. And the game was only in box, so I like it better like this because when it goes on my shelf, it looks good. But this one, well worth it. There will be a full Let's Play of Combat Cars coming up, so keep an eye out for that. And, and during that Let's Play, I'll talk about it a little bit more. Now, this third game is a PlayStation 1 game. I'm going to hold off on the gameplay footage of this one, too, because this will be a Let's Play. But I have to say, this game is a blast. It is CD only. Tony said right before I was leaving, you know, hey, Matt, check out this game real quick. So, I definitely checked it out. It's called DBZ. And, let's see if I remember what the name of it was. It was... Double Ball Zone? I don't remember right now. I thought it was Dragon Ball Z, but it's not. So I think it's like Double Ball... You'll see when that do the actual gameplay footage of it, um, what it was called. But this thing, oh my god, this thing is fun. It is fast-paced. It's awesome. Ah, let's put up a little, get a, little, a, little, a, little, a little bit of gameplay here right now. Like I said, it's fast. It's awesome. The only thing I didn't like in here, which I have to check the options for, is I hate it when games like this, FIFA, all that stuff, do an auto switch of your guy because I'm focusing on the guy that I'm controlling and then it switches to somebody else so I gotta make sure I turn it off but man this thing is fast paced it's a lot of fun I mean this almost reminds me of hockey soccer football rugby whatever on steroids this is a blast this is a game I think you guys should look into I'm gonna have to go back up by Tony's store later and I need to pay I need to buy this off of him that was one heck of a great game he gave me there to try out so I need to go buy that one from them that's gonna leave us with one last thing to do real quick here I got another mystery bag to look at now there's gonna be no gameplay footage from these games in this portion of this video that will come as let's plays because I always open these up and I play these and you guys only see a few second clip like you just saw a few minutes ago but I usually play these things for quite a while, so I'm going to do Let's Plays off of these. Now, I will state right here, if there are any Wii U games, Wii U, no, Wii games, 
I don't have a Wii U yet. But if there are any Wii games in here, I sit back there by the TV that's on yeah, that side of me. You can see the Logitech logo on it. So I'll play the game, then I'll do some talking over it when I come back and I show you. But let's uh, see what we got in this bag here. We're going to start with what feels like disc-only games. Here we go. Let's see. What's this one? Ooh. SWAT. Global Counter-Strike Team for the PlayStation. Can't tell if that's PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1. I think it's the PlayStation 2 by looking at it. All right. The SWAT games. I know a little bit about these. I know they were like tactical-type shooters. So I'll be curious to check this sucker on out and see how bad I am at playing SWAT. The next one. Ooh, nice. My Midway. Fury, Championship Racing. I love racing games. This one will definitely have a nice good let's play for it. This should be a lot of fun. Next game. Oh, I don't need to talk too much about this one. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. I have this one on... Ooh, this PlayStation 3 one. I have it on the Xbox. I have it on PC. These ones are fun. I love the story mode in these. Suck at multiplayer. Love the story mode. Alright, this one is in a jewel case. Alright, it's a fishing game action bass. The fishing game on the PlayStation 1. I love the fishing games on the Dreamcast. There is a fishing game on the PC that I play that's a lot of fun. Very relaxing. Now we get to check out one on the PlayStation, see what this one's like. This should be good. Now we are up to games in boxes. Let's see what we got here. First one. Wild? WDL Thunder Tanks. That just sounds cool. Now, I don't have very good lighting behind me, so I can't see what the back pictures look like. I'm going to be curious to try this sucker out, man. This, this is going to be some fun. This, this looks like it's going to be a fun, fun game. Hope I get to ride around and blow people up. That's what I'm hoping for. See, I'm very noobish on the PlayStations and stuff like that. So, Let's see what the next one is. Jimmy Mosley's Mad Tri Trick. Okay, so this is going to be a snowboarding game. At least that's what the guy are skiing. One or two skiing, snowboarding, whatever. Um, if it's anywhere close to Tony Hawk type games, you know this will be a lot of fun. Like I said, I have no clue on these games, so the gameplay when you see it, the game, the Let's Plays of these games, it's going to tell you, and there's going to be a lot of Let's Plays coming up. That's going to be awesome. And I think that was it. Alright, that was it for the mystery bag. Alright, so like I said, keep an eye out for the Let's Plays that will be coming up soon, and yeah, they'll start popping up very shortly, hopefully. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember, support your local stores. Help them out, get them some trades, buy stuff from them, help out your local businesses and that people. Alright, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.